Hey everybody. So what is a fiat currency? Maybe you've heard that term before, a fiat currency. A fiat currency essentially is where a government or some entity issues money by decree. Just says, okay, now here is X amount of money we've just created. A good example of this is usually seen in uh, the debt ceiling situation when from time to time uh, the United States government runs up against the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling is the statute uh, by which we can no longer issue more debt. So then Congress gets together and says, okay, well, we need some more money to pay our bills, so now we're going to raise the debt ceiling by whatever, a trillion, two trillion, and voila, it is decreed that we now have two trillion more to spend. Where did that come from? Did we dig it up out of the ground? No, it was by decree, by an act of Congress. Now we have more money. So now that we know what fiat currency is, the question is, does a nation that issues fiat currency have to borrow its own fiat currency in order to spend? I mean, the whole notion is preposterous. That would be like saying Ford, the automaker, has to borrow back the cars that it sold in order to sell more cars. Complete nonsense. Or it would be like Picasso having to get back all the art that he sold in order to be able to sell more art. So you see this whole notion that the United States has to borrow in order to spend, it's completely ridiculous. The United States issues fiat currency, money by decree. And the idea that it has to somehow borrow back this money in order to be able to spend is really so misguided. And so is the idea that uh, taxes fund expenditure. I mean, how do you pay your taxes anyway? You pay your taxes in U.S. dollars. And where did you get those dollars from? Those dollars had to have been spent into the economy by the government in order for anyone to have them to pay back their taxes. Unfortunately, our policymakers and most of the economics profession believes that taxes fund expenditure, and so they go through this terribly um, uh, harmful uh, activity of raising taxes harmful to the economy. So in the end, ignorance can really kill you. And unfortunately, a lot of what we're seeing nowadays in terms of economic policy, understanding our monetary system, is based on nothing more than pure ignorance. Educate yourself and spread the word. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.